Hi guys, Gaming Bay here. Right, we've got uh, two new specials. So we've got the uh, IL-1 birthday and the uh, the boomerang. So let's get in and see, is this a good deal? So what I want to do, oh, I'm just going to log in, bear with me a second. Okay, the boomerang, ready for combat, £8.75, uh, down from, well, it hasn't been in, on sale before, as far as I know. So £11.67, maybe it should have been well, special. For Christmas, minus 25%. How I always say, how can it be a spe minus 25% when, as far as I know, it's never been on sale before? So let's have a look. You get the uh, the plane, 1500 gold, three fire extinguishers, three first aid kits, which I think is neither here nor there. So 1500 gold. So let's see what that the price of the 1500 gold is. So working our way down. So double this. So you're looking about four four fifty to five pounds. So let's take off four pounds fifty from the price of this plane. So you're looking four pounds twenty five for this plane. Plus you get the the additional first aids and things. So four pounds twenty five. Let's have a look at what else you can get for four pounds twenty five. Four pounds twenty five. You're looking well. You're looking a roundabout from the uh, X XF 4F-3, the ground attack LBS, the 110. So all of these tier five, four and five sort of planes. Okay, so now we know the, the, the rough value of this. What is it like? So it's a tier five B British uh, boomerang plane. So I'm going to get this, and I will test it out for you. First game, so we know just what it's like, so bear with me. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get into the game and have a uh, have a look. Wait for it to, there we go. Two sets of ammo, boomerang. Cute little plane! So, but what do you got to bear in mind? You've got a little bit of gold, and if you didn't want the gold, then it's something that, like I said, you've got to, you've got to pay for. So the £8 or whatever that, it's, that it actually costs... Is it a good plane? So let's compare it to tier 5. So what we know is a good plane. Oops, let's get to the Spitfire. Oh, I always want to compare it to the standard Spitfire, which is down over, over here. Bear with me a second. And we'll just see how this compares, what it's like, as everybody knows just how good the Spitfire is. So survivability, three and a half thousand. So it's a heavier plane. It look it looks very much like an American. Let's have a look. 250 were built. It's Australian. Interesting. Oh, well, hence the boomerang. God, now I understand. So it's heavier, a little bit less survivability. So that's making me think it's got less hit points. Then we come to the, uh, the armament identical but it shows that the points are actually 287 in comparison to 311 i don't know why it's it's down by about 10 percent but it is similar guns but they're not as good okay let's see well you know the spit the spit is just fantastic uh, airspeed so less airspeed 289 oh, less points so it's down by 40 points. Now, what is the difference? Maximum dive is 50 less. Store speed is identical. Rate of climb is down by 40. So it can't climb as, as well. It dives not well. It's worse, worse than dive. Now, what's the mobility like? The maneuverability, 9.2 seconds for an average roll compared to uh, 8.6 and I'm not liking the look of this rate of roll it's got a better rate of roll so it's a di different characteristic it's more stubby so it's better at rolling whereas the uh, the, the tur turning the Spitfire is better okay and the controllability the platform is one point worse than the Spitfire altitude performance is identical so it's a slightly different version of the Spitfire now that's what we do Let's get this uh, set up, load the standard consumables, get those in, and control surface to start. I won't put any more... Oops, oops, what's happened? Come on, come on, let me pause. Oh, okay, well, well 
I intended to go in, I wanted to maybe put a different pilot in, but we'll get in. This is as though you've just bought it. You don't know where you have. You've got no new new pilots. You can't put your old pilot in. You you haven't played it before, so this is literally straight out of the box. And we will see what it's like. How does it fare? Okay, so we've got pyramids. We're in the uh, the north. Depending on which side we're at, we're either the military base or the forward airstrip. Similar characteristics to a Spitfire, but in a dogfight. You it's... are approaching the area of combat operations. Okay. Be ready. Well, why? Thank you. In a dogfight, it's going to behave differently. It, it's because it's 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 similar, but it's going to, it's a, a different setup. It's a tier five in a tier six game. Similar guns, but they they're not quite set up the same. So we're on the left. So let's head to the uh, the airfield. Sort out the airfield to start off with. Get up to uh, 1,200 meters. Dive down. You are approaching the front line. Let's boost Off up. We go. Oh, the firepower of the guns looks nice. Okay, let's boost in. It's just me. So, oh, I'm, I'm now got a bit of a wingman arriving. So I'm happy about that because I I like going in and just killing them. I know that sounds a bit weird. Well, no, I'm gaming bear. So let's see what we can do. I don't know how. I really haven't got a clue how this is going to go. other boomerangs there so we'll see what it's like against other boomerangs okay cool and coming on him so I've got a basic sta a standard commander on this that's just my flying ability against a similar plane let's get in on him it swivels around very very quickly let's get in on that bo boomerang dive in on him following him through gravity on our side no I wanted to kill him it feels like it, it feels like a nice competent plane now it was difficult to catch my my opposite number because basically using the same plane, so uh, same characteristics, but with flying ability you can get the edge on even someone in the same plane. On my way. Guns are competent, and the ability to follow, basically follow him, he put, forcing him away. We got a bit of assistance. Try and get those kill shots with the twenty mils. He's away. Let's go back and and deal with someone else. The XF over there. Let's get in on him. combination of the guns very much like the uh, the spit is very useful someone coming in and let's deal with oh cool he got round by one of my teammates I wanted to kill him first but hey how's it against the yak better better turning very very nice in a way this is actually in certain ways this is actually better than Spitfire I know that's hard to say the guns are a little bit you can tell that it's a little bit less but the maneuverability the style of this in a dogfight is actually better I know that's weird to say and me with this let's look around because I'm coming in that way let's deal with him Dive, dive, dive. Got someone on the right. Let's get in after him. The ME 
109. I don't want him to get away. Very, very competent plane. It's like buy, buying a Spitfire, but in some ways it's actually better in a dogfight than a Spitfire. Which isn't really isn't a bad plan. Now we need to take him out. Cool. Incoming to deal with him. The combination of guns, the 20 mils and the MGs, very... Trying to shoot my mate then. It just feels like there's just... You you haven't quite got the edge. You're doing just slightly less damage than you would with a Spitfire, but your controllability on target is better. Now I'm doing this for the dogfights. We're losing points-wise. Let's try and help the team. The damage, the DPM feels a, just down a little bit, but as, but as the numbers show, you're 10% down on the, on what a Spitfire would have. Boosting in, let's keep the guns rattling. Next. are captured by the enemy. You must turn the tide of the battle. The enemy is about to win. Push harder. I'm doing my best. I'm really doing my best. It's an excellent little plane. Hang in there. The oh no! And the guns never the seem to really um, overheat. Nine thousand points. You can't do that in a bad plane, and it feels, it just, to some extent, apart from the the guns, as good, if not even better, in a dogfight than a Spitfire. It's hard for me to admit that, and that's just how it feels. So. Yeah, really, really nice dogfighting little plane. Very stocky, very solid. But as as you see, 111,000 uh, credits. Very, very nice. Nine planes shot down. How did we do in comparison? I do, I do like that. So 9,000 points. Top. In a tier, tier 6 game, top. Yeah. First time out. No special crew, very basic equipment. This is without anything. What what would it need? Well, you need something to uh, an improved reflector, definitely. So improved reflector, engine tuning. Um, it doesn't feel like it needs it. Aircraft polish, maybe a little bit, and lightweight airframe. Additional maneuverability, just a little. To give you a little bit more of an edge on the uh, the Japanese, so I would say improved reflector. Yeah, very very nice. It's it's an it's an excellent plane. It's an exceptional plane, and well worth the money. I love my Spitfires. Given the the choice between the M20 and the Boomerang, the M20 is very good. Let's compare the two, actually, it's before we uh, do the final conclusion. So you can see just how it's niche of where it fits. So, survivability, it's a little bit heavier, but less points. But it was able to survive. So, it's a nice weighty plane. Gun armament is better. With those 20mm cannons, really, really neat. Different sort of firepower, but slightly more firepower than the uh, the M20 with and, and longer range this is just running with MG's 
huge amounts of firepower close up. Airspeed, there's not a lot in it. So let's do the comparison. Well, identical. 40.8 climb rate, 40.8. Dive speed, 650, 630. So the, the, the M20 can dive faster. whoop de do. <laughs> let's have a look. Maneuverability. 9.2 compared to 9. But this, because of the 120... Actually, the, the, the roll rate would make the miles better in a dogfight. But for some reason... This feels better. I can't put my finger on it. There's something about it that feels better than the M20. But they're both very good planes. But picking out of the two of them, I would give the edge slightly to the boomerang. So, is it worth the money? Definitely. It's a very competent plane. It's a very good plane, actually. Anything that can out-dogfight a Spitfire at Tier 5 is a very good plane. And unlike the Japanese, it's stocky, it's solid, it's got a nice amount of uh, hit points, and it's got these really neat guns. Now, let's compare it at this stage to the Japanese. How does it actually stand up? Because this, the Zero is absolutely brilliant. Weight-wise, it's a 1,000 kilos, just out of 900 kilos more. So, you slam into him, he's going to die. Hit points, you've got 25-30% more hit points. Very, very... Sorry, 10-20% um, more hit points. The guns, he's got two 20s, but you, on the other hand, are running four 303s. So, you've got two more machine guns than he has. Against a zero, your firepower is better. Airspeed. You're 17 kmh faster than him. So you can you can get in, get out faster, which is a really big bonus. And that's one of the downsides of the Zero. Store speed, 90. He's a better dogfighter. It's a Zero. But you're very good. You're, even without equipment, you're slightly better than a standard Spitfire from playing it. Which isn't bad at all. You know, really, really. You're up there with a pre premium plane being able to, to to hold its own against Spitfires and take take them down. And any plane that can do that is really good. But you're not quite at the, the dogfighting level of the Zero. Turn time, 360 degrees, 7.9 seconds. This is 9.2. It seems really bad, but in reality, because of the rate of roll, it flies in a different way. And that rate of roll really makes a difference. The controllability is better for the Zero, the boomerang, you're spraying everywhere, lots, lots of fire, and it really works. Now, you, you're designed to work up 400 metres up above, whereas the Zero works not far above ground level. And that's the difference is. Is it good? Yes. Is it worth the money? Yes. Do I like it? I like it a lot. So I've, I say this has got to have a, a double thumbs from the bear. And it was about 110, 100, yeah, 111,000 credits and 1,400 uh, experience from the first sortie. Really, it's what not to like. And, it, and that was on a defeat. If you had a better team, you saw the planes this was shooting down. If you had better equipment on, it would be able to do better. This is straight out of the box. Bog standard pilot. Very, very competent plane and well worth the money so the C c12 the boomerang no wonder they put these defending the uh, the airstrips if it's better than a spitfire solid this is why they have it in game defending because it is this good so thank you guys i'm the gaming bear this has been the boomerang i'm now going to do the other plane but i will see you on the next one see you guys bye